Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again. I was not there for about two days because of my traditional introduction wedding that was happening yesterday in Busia County. So I was not able to upload videos. But again, I want to take opportunity, this opportunity to appreciate you so much because of your support financially and also through prayers. May God bless you so much for a journey that you have supported me till today. Now, as I was just relaxing, I saw a letter from Wafula Chebukati, Gulie and Molu. These are three IEBC commissioners that retired the other day. When I was looking at the letter, they have come out to post, or rather the letter that Wafula Chebukati has come out to post, it is a joint letter that has been signed by Wafula Chebukati, Gulie and Molu. The letter, or rather the basis of the letter, is that these people are coming out to reject any kind of interrogation from the bipartisan dialogue to them. They were given a letter inviting them, three of them, to appear before the committee. After the other day, the secretariat had appeared before the IEBC. So I want to ask a simple question. A simple question. When you look at Wafula Chibukati, and ladies and gentlemen, I want us to read the letter. The letter of Wafula Chebukati that has come out from them after meeting themselves, rejecting a kind of now the current secretariat of IEBC coming out to accept the, the audit of the servers. As there is something that created a kind of suspicion where the Azimio came out asking, why is it that at this time they're accepting to audit their servers? But on the other side, now Kenya Kwanza and the I, former IEBC commissioners, that is Wafule Chibukati, Mulu and Gulie, they don't want any kind of audit of servers. As they are distancing themselves away from the issue of the dialogue. Now, this is the letter that Wafule Chibukati and his uh, friend, um, colleagues are saying. Dear chairpersons, that means the chairpersons we have in two co-chairs, Kalonzo Msioka and Kimani Ishungwa. The letter says, reference is invitation to make oral presentation to the National Dialogue Committee. The letter says, reference is made to your letter dated September 20, 25th, 2023, inviting us to appear and make presentation on all or any of the five uh, thematic areas on Thursday, 28th, September, 2023. We are appointed in office on January 18, 2017 for a six-year term and successfully completed our tour of duty on January 17, 2023. We have gone through, uh, we have gone through the five thematic areas and would like to inform you that we do not wish to make any submission before the committee. Our decision is informed by our perspective that the issues being addressed by the committee are either within the mandate of other agencies or have been resolved by the legally mandated agencies. For instance, the conduct of the 2022 elections has been subject of lit uh, litigation by courts across the country. And with respect to the presiden uh, presidential poll, a final de determination was made by the Supreme Court. It is neither our wish nor our desire to participate in a process whose outcome will be to sully the Constitution and some of its organs. During our term in office, we delivered on our mandate, including successful conduct of 2022 general elections, it is through those elections that the president, governors, senators, members of the National Assemblies, 
and those of county assemblies now occupy their offices. Some of them are now members of this committee. The discharge of our constitution and legal mandate as detailed above is self evidence It is our fervent hope that in due course, a commission of inquiry will be set up to investigate the unfortunate incidents of, uh, 20, of August 15, 2022 at Bomas of Kenya, which brought the image of our country in disrupt, dispute, the, uh, of course, they are saying the, the inquiry, um, the inquiry should also uh, uncover the reasons um, of the commission's staff were abducted, tortured, or even killed during the election period. Identity persons responsible for the um, atrocities and thereafter appropriate punishment should be meted out. The outcome of such an inquiry will be bolster the independence of the commission IEBC and ensure that it maintains the stature contemplated in the constitution of Kenya. With tremendous respect to the committee, our participation in the talks will be unmitigated betrayal to the staff who are tortured and murdered and an unfortunate or rather unfortunate reward for impunity. We thank your, you for the invitation. You are sincerely, this, is, has been, this letter has been signed by Wafula Chibukati, Professor Gulie, uh, Gulie and Boya Molu. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the letter that is coming from this IBC Commission. Why is it that our Fula Chibukati, they have come out to retire, they are being called to present, because I saw in his Twitter handle, our Fula Chibukati was trying to present on how the August 2022 general, general election was free and fair. If this is something that truly was free and fair, why is it that now, is rejecting, they are rejecting three of them not to come out to present themselves before the IEB, before the dialogue committee. Because during, or rather initially, when this issue of service came out arising, Wafula Chibukati tried himself to explain in his Twitter handle, or rather in social media handle, and this if he could have come out to take the time to explain for Kenyans on how the election won, why should you come out to tell the the chairs of the dialogue who has already come out to uh, invite invite you to come out to present on how the servers were, then you are coming out to say that you cannot present yourself before the dialogue because this is going to be a betrayal to those who are tortured, those who are murdered during the IBC, especially the IBC commissioners. Now, I want to say it is so unfortunate if now the secretariat, now secretariat, led by Marjan Hussein Marjan, they are accepting the audit to be done. Then on the other side, Wafula Chebukati, Gulie, and Molu, they are rejecting the invest invitation from the dialogue. There's something that is cooking in between these people. When you look at Wafula Chebukati, Gulie, and Molu, these people are partnership partnering with the Kenya Kwanza Brigade. The language that Wafula Chebukati is saying in the same language that Kenya Kwanza government is saying. When you look at the secretariat now, it's trying to create a kind of confusion in IEBC because them, they're saying they're ready. On the other side, the retired IEBC, they are rejecting, they are not ready about any kind of presentation or audit. And this is something that we believe that something is wrong somewhere. Something wrong somewhere. And if truly Ophelia Chibukati believes that election were free and fair, why should you he come out to at least tell the truth that this whatever happened before the dialogue committee? You know, there's something that should be done to ensure that this election malpractice or election uh, electoral injustices must be resolved once and for all. So Afule Chibukati, him is just yelling, making noise with his letters, and at the same time he doesn't want to present himself. Why should he present himself before the committee and tell them this is this is something that happened? We are not willing to present ourselves, but because of this and this and this, we are willing to do this. 
But on the other side, they are rejecting whatever the Hussein Marjan and his secretaries uh, are seeing. So ladies and gentlemen, who is telling the truth here? Who is telling the truth? Who is telling the truth? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.